This is what traveling is about. You want to come home with me? Hi guys, it's John here again, and I'm about to show you a different side to Finland than you might expect. From the heart of Lapland in the Arctic Circle and Santa Claus himself, to insanely beautiful nature and chasing the midnight sun. What an amazing way to cap off an insane day. But let's start it off in the capital, Helsinki. Now I'm just chilling outside the new Helsinki library. Look at this incredible looking building. It's actually huge. There are rooms that you can rent out for gaming, music studios, art studios, there's 3D printing. Um, but yeah, looking forward to seeing what the rest of Helsinki has to offer and hopefully showing you a shot of the sky that is blue. I love licorice, but this is salty licorice, and it changes the flavour of all the beer. She didn't tell me, it's a bit mean, and I got the shock of my life with the saltiest licorice mouthful ever. Oh, it's so salty. <laughs> I really haven't got used to the taste. It is an amazing city to walk around, by the way. It is beautiful. You would not know that this is a capital. It's so quiet and so chilled, and everything is just so pristine. Um, but yeah, I've had a great time. Ready to start a full day tomorrow. We are finally here at the Helsinki railway station. Now, we have about 20 minutes uh, to hang around before our train here. Now, our platform nine comes in so we can catch our overnight train to Rovnami. Show you to my room. So I am number 21, bottom bank. I've met my roomie, he's a very cool guy from Finland. Uh, he's a naturist and does hiking and this kind of stuff. Here is my bed. Uh, oh, this is really comfy. Now, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't a little bit tight. But, this is what travelling is about. The 12 hour, 800 kilometre train journey was extremely comfortable and relaxing. What seemed like a really long distance was made so short by an amazing sleep in the cabins. Before we knew it, we were already in Lapland. So good morning. Check it out, that is blue sky. It is such a nice day today. We are probably about an hour south of Rovnami. It's been a pretty amazing train ride actually. Uh, the beds are super comfy, you've got to sleep straight away and I've slept almost all the night, woke up kind of early. Um, but yeah, it took an immediate look out the window and we are just going through insane forests and just, just nature in general. Blue sky. Promised you I'd show you some blue sky. There it is. So after 12 hour train ride from Helsinki to here, Rovaniemi, we have arrived at Santa's village. Now this is home to the border of the Arctic Circle in Finnish Lapland um, and also home to the great Saint Nicholas aka Santa Claus. Check this place out, this is the Santa Claus post office. Now this isn't just for show, if you ever sent um, a letter to Santa as a kid this is the exact post office where it ends up. They have received around 500,000 letters every year from over 200 countries around the world. Um, and they all come to this exact spot, this exact post office, just here in uh, Finnish Lapland, in Santa's village. Um, and it's amazing, they do read every single one of them. So there it is, the red pole is there. 
they mark the line of the Arctic Circle. It's pretty warm this time of year, uh, between 20 and 30 degrees, um, and in the winter that's when it gets cold, down to around minus 40. We have just arrived here in Viking Congress, which is this huge nature area, about 20 minutes drive outside of Rovaniemi. It is an amazing haven of trees and wildlife and flora and fauna. So we've just got some wild blueberries. Look how teeny these are. Any, uh, any few that are ready. We're going to bit yeah, still. Vika Congas is a beautiful park just north of Rovaniemi. Its lush green forests and beautiful walkways make it perfect for exploring during the sunny summer months. Oh, and you can fish there as well. Check this out. Friends has cooked us some amazing salmon. Fresh caught. Sorry, eat. That looks amazing. So it is a very good morning this morning. We have come here just outside of Rovnami to the Husky Park. Now, if you're a dog lover, you'll be in for an absolute treat here because there are over 100 dogs that are all super, super eager to see. So I cannot wait to get inside and meet every single one of them. <laughs> Are these for me to eat or? Oh, really? Do I have any treats? Uh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to come home with me? Awesome. I'll take that as a yes. Yes. <laughs> these are weird. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> this is the best day ever. <laughs> hi, hi. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> hey guys. I said I could hold four, but I think two is maybe the maximum. <laughs> Potentially three. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> oh my god. So all around this Husky Park, there's around 104 different dogs. Um, some puppies, some old, some more experienced. Um, and they're all in these cages. They're separated because some of them can get a bit feisty. They'd never fight, um, but they're all super friendly as well. It's just some dogs are different personalities, uh, fit more with other dogs um, than others. Now, I might look a bit mean, all these guys in cages, but they are let out every morning. Um, and they were running around and standing all a bit crazy, but it's because they saw the food coming around um, and they all got super, super excited for food. Um, they treat these, uh, these dogs super well here, give them uh, great food, great balanced diet and all that kind of stuff. Um, and you can tell these are really happy guys because every time someone comes over, they're super playful, uh, just really like, you know, really interact with you. Um, and yeah, you just feel super safe and super happy that these dogs are really looked after. Um, they don't do too much running during these sort of summer months because it gets much too hot for them. Just touching them, even the puppies and stuff, their coats are so thick, so they really wouldn't suit well for this sort of warmer temperature for them. Apparently the ideal temperature for them sort of 
doing all the sleigh runs and stuff in the snow is minus 36 degrees is their sort of optimal temperature and um, you can definitely see why touching them is like touching a super thick rug it's like insane they're just well kitted out for the really really cold weathers that they have here uh, in Finland um, it's been an absolutely awesome day but yeah, we're going to uh, finish up around here, meet the rest of the, I don't know, 50 dogs I've still got left to see, um, and then head back to Rovniemi Town Centre, and then we've got the safari in the afternoon. Uh, so very, very excited for that. We were picked up at around 9pm and drove 45 minutes north, out of the city, to the complete wilderness in search of moose, and it did not disappoint. We must have seen around 30 of the 150,000 they have here, our search concluded at around 3am after finishing up at a stunning lake. The next day we took a long drive north, passing some wild reindeer along the way and stopping for a few photos. Our end point was Sarisalka, but we stopped for an insanely cool experience at Lampavara Amethyst Mines, where we got to experience mining our own amethyst and even got to keep some as a souvenir. Drawing nearer to our end location, we got another opportunity to increase our riches through gold panning, a trade that has been ongoing for over 150 years. <laughs> After a super up close and personal meet with a rare wild albino reindeer, we headed up to the highest point we could find to watch the insane midnight sun spectacle unfold. That is the sunset, as low as it gets. It is currently uh, 1 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> Sorry, 1 a.m. in the morning and the sun actually doesn't set. So this is the midnight sun, the true midnight sun. Um, so we've watched it touch the horizon. We're watching it come back up again now. It's crazy, it's crazy to think this is 1 a.m. and it's, this is as dark as it's gonna get. What an amazing way to cap off an insane day. Sadly, the next day I had to leave the northern part of Finland, but what an insane way to finish it off. The next morning, I took the train back down south to the southwestern coastal city of Turku. This historic town was full of charm and history. I explored the second oldest market hall in Finland and tried some traditional delicacies, which were all so delicious. I even went to the oldest part of the city to some of the original shops, handicraft museums and craft stores that are still working to this day and which I've tried to keep as traditional as possible. We even managed to rent a boat and go directly through the centre of the city which I think is one of the best ways you can explore. It is a really nice day um, and yeah, we've got the whole boat to ourselves. Hey. We even got the chance to explore the stunning Turku castle and the gardens that surround it, finishing off my tour in Turku's archipelagos. The archipelagos consist of more than 20,000 islands and the inhabitants speak a mix of Norwegian and Finnish depending on the location. There are hiking and cycling routes through the islands as well as a whole network of roads and ferries you can use depending on where you're heading. The whole journey was absolutely stunning and certainly one of the highlights of the tour. Check it out. I feel like I'm in Greece somewhere. There's amazing sailboats, it's fresh moving quick on the beach. It's like a bustle of activity. I mean, this is insane. It's so beautiful. There's loads of nice boats around. People are sailing around here. Lots of holiday homes. It is an absolute haven in the middle of the mass of an island. It's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. I was happy viewing the stunning scenery as we went past, but was super happy that we got the chance to explore one of the most popular islands. I really hope this video has enticed you to visit Finland, and if it has, be sure to check out the links in the description below for all the tours available. Also, make sure you subscribe to the Tour Radar YouTube channel to follow more of my adventures and for even more travel inspiration.